The wise man takes the long view by judging based on time. He sees the present clearly, but keeps the end in mind. Too shrewd to pick a winner before the battle's done or certify the sinner pretending they have won. The woman who loves wisdom won't envy those who don't. She knows that every breath is an interest-bearing loan. Won't sacrifice the future on altar of today, aware that satisfaction might have to be delayed. For judgment day is coming when all will be revealed. And some considered victors might look that way until the end results are measured by what the Lord can see. Like motive and intention, the pride, the lust, the greed. He'll test our every action, discerning truth and lie. Beneath the what we all see, He will expose the why. See, God keeps perfect records, meticulously fair. And some called wealthy down here might look quite different there. Remember Jesus' story about two contrasting men? A rich man and a beggar. But that's not how it ends. A story of reversal, a rags to riches tale. Yet rags went straight to heaven and riches went to hell. I paraphrase the details, but you get what I mean. Luke 16 talks about it. It starts in verse 19. The story's interesting. It's called a narrative. It also has a message, so it's declarative. Compare yourself with others. At this point, that's the same as gambling on the outcome when you don't know the game. An end zone celebration could get the crowd to roar but might not look too wise when they see the final score. So keep up with the Joneses if that seems smart to you. But wisdom heeds the warning and takes the longer view.